Hi guys, Miss Carolina again. Today we are going to be um, discussing in language arts possessive pronouns. We're going to do a singular and plural. Okay, when you have that possessive noun, it shows the person ownership. He owns something. So when a possessive noun is singular, that means one person, thing, or place, you add an apostrophe after, um, then you add, after that, you add the S. So the apostrophe goes first, and then goes a S. That's only one noun to show the possession of that ownership. So for example, I have number one. From the story, Yeshen's mother and father had died. The other one is Yeshen's mother and father had died. As you can see that I underline the first one because, because it shows ownership of Yeshen's mother and father. The other one is missing apostrophe between the S, the N and the S. Number two. Her stepmother's cave was cold. Her stepmother's cave was cold. Again, it's the same one, but it's missing the apostrophe after the R, which shows stepmother's ownership of the cave. Now, if we go on, the same thing possessive now, but now it's plural. That means more than one. It goes, the apostrophe goes after the S. And it's the same thing, it shows ownership, but it's more than one. And I have an example, for example, number one. Her parents' death made Yashin an orphan. Her parents' death made Yashin an orphan. As you can see, it's the same exact sentence with the differences that it has the apostrophe at the end after parents' You have the S and then you have the apostrophe. Number two, the dancers' costumes were colorful. The dancers' co costumes were colorful. Again, it's the same exact sentence, but the difference is after the S, you see the apostrophe. So as you can see, possessive pronouns, they, they, you can use them for singular and plural with the difference of where you put your apostrophe.